TV, TV. And today I decided to show some of the things I do, particularly on my spare time. Uh, one of it is uh, I keep broiler chickens, as you see. I'm sure they are just four weeks old. If you follow me on my Facebook page, on the panic movie, yeah, the main Facebook page that I use, I've got quite a number, but uh, followers. I have actually been posting these broilers from the day uh, they were taken from the machines uh, up to today. So before we move forward, please kindly press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we beam live, you will be the first one to watch us and have a play uh, on our show. So I'm keeping the, the broiler chickens uh, during my spare time. Yeah, as you see, it's winter now. Uh, it's winter where I am, yeah, in Cape Town. Uh, it's winter, so the temperatures are freezing. So at uh, this time of the day, we actually uh, create a fire. You see this thing called in I don't know in the language what to call it, just to keep these broilers uh, warm. Uh, because they need actually to be warm when it's uh, freezing. The temperatures in Cape Town are freezing, especially at night. So at night, we assist these broilers uh, through ensuring that they are actually in a in a warm uh, environment, honey, and to grow well. You need to also take a good care of them. This is exactly. Uh, what you do is you see these guys have relaxed now. They've got a lot of uh, food. Um, I think they are okay. They're not hungry. Let me just step in a little bit. Yeah. Let me just step in a little bit. Put their comfort so that you can um, see how big they are now. They are four weeks, these ones. They are already eating uh, crow food. You see them, they actually, they actually started drinking there. Some advice to someone who wants to, to, to keep broiler chickens. It's actually an interesting uh, adventure or agricultural household income. A lot of us, especially Africans, uh, we are crying about our salaries, the fewer salaries, but there is absolutely something you can do to add on to the salaries that you are actually getting. I'm not saying everybody should do this. It depends on your calling because the upkeep of these chickens, I mean, they are highly demanding. I've just showed you that this is part of the things that we are supposed, we are supposed to take care of them like your children ensure that they have sufficient water, ensure that they have actually sufficient food, proper food, uh, vitamins, uh, ensure that they, they are vaccinated you see, so that they grow very well. And uh, also ensure that the environment where you are keeping them at is actually a proper environment. As you can see down there, they lie on shavings. You buy these shavings mm -hmm. there, specialized shavings for these kind of uh, chickens. These kind of chickens so that they, they can lie nicely uh, in these shavings, you can see. And they should make sure that you clean them after some time. They, 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 they want actually a health a place fresh. So basically the food that they need, they need, uh, you see this one it's eating, it's, this food is called grow. I'm not so sure what I can zoom it, you see, it looks like this. It's grow, you bite, you bite it is specifically made for, for these broiler chickens. Uh, they eat it after three weeks, yeah, after three weeks. Uh, you start them with food called the starter, and they eat it for three weeks, and afterwards you give them the grower. But, um, 
two weeks, and then the last week or so, you give them the finisher. Yes, uh, so that is basically the food that you, you give the broiler chickens. They don't want so much noise. That is why I'm not speaking loud today. They don't want noise. They don't want to be stressed. Uh, they can actually be killed by that. I talked of worms. Uh, I mean, the, their shelter, you should make sure that it is in a good shape. Uh, when temperatures are freezing, make sure that it is try to clean. Uh, you must regularly clean uh, the place so that these actually beds can be subjected to actually a healthy uh, environment. Yes, they, they, they demand a healthy uh, environment. So, yes, I'm keeping them here. They're about 120, if I'm not mistaken, about 120 there. there about, that is the number that I'm currently uh, keeping. Yes, I think in two weeks' time they will be ready meat. Uh, this breed, there, there are actually various breeds of uh, broilers. This one is cop. It's very nice, it's very tasty, yeah, particularly cop. Yeah, if you, you test cop, I mean, you will love broiler meat, which is especially fresh. Uh, it is not regularly kept by people because it requires specialized attention. Yeah, otherwise, if you you are not good at actually keeping them, uh, they may die in numbers and you incur uh, losses. So this business, after six weeks, it gives you money. But uh, don't think those six weeks they are a joke. You need to be actually there to look for them ensure that you provide them with sufficient food, sufficient water, you sustain, they, 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 they have to be sustained, maintained, especially to produce something like this after a period of um, uh, four weeks. Yeah, they are now four weeks and two days, so we are left with about a week and some few days to, to actually start selling them. I hope uh, I'll be able to to broadcast them live and show you when they are fully grown. Yes, when they are fully grown. Very soon in two weeks time people will be getting to test these guys. The only kiss. Uh, thank you very much. If you have watched us up to this far, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we be live, you may be the first one to see us and witness uh, these beautiful scenes firsthand uh, when they are actually live. We are Valerie.